So in the last video, I showed you how to time the cans with these little marks. But in an XR, that's not really enough because the cams are made in pieces. They're welded together and they're pinned together. And what can happen is, A, these pins can break and the, the teeth can be off this way, or the cam can be welded on it just a half a tooth off or a few degrees off, or the tuner can put the marks on just in the wrong spot and you make an assumption and you're gonna end up with problems. So we've gone a little bit deeper and we're using a dial indicator and a timing wheel and uh, we're using the data in the service manual and we're going to be um, showing you how to time the thing in this video now. You're gonna need a service manual to get the data. If you don't have a copy, let me know and I'll get you a copy. Um, you're going to need a dial indicator. I've got it mounted on this little plate here, in this case. And you're going to need a timing wheel. I just got mine from my local machine shop. I got, or my uh, speed shop. I got a Moroso because the numbers were big on it. It's nice and thick. It's a tough unit. And I just had to bore it out just a little wee bit to make it fit on the uh, flywheels here. but. And you, you need to make some sort of a little pointer that you can kind of move around a little and bend it to make it zero out properly. I just got a little aluminum rod here off of this post. And, uh, and that's really all you need to do this. So in this case, we're working on the exhaust cam, the number two cam. And the, the book tells us that the exhaust cam opens at 64 degrees and it closes at 32 degrees. But what it doesn't tell you is that the exhaust cam is supposed to open before top dead center and close after top, after, clo opens before top dead, bottom dead center and closes after top dead center. So that's important to know. Now, the book does tell you that you're supposed to do it off of the tappet at 60 thou of tappet lift. And it also says to do it with the, rear, with the rear cylinder at top dead center. So we set this to top dead center. We bend, we pull straight up to try to get it as close to top dead center as we can. And we bend our little pointer make it as best to zero as we can and we set this to zero and then we move our engine through until we reach 60 thou of valve lift or of tappet lift And then we check and see where it is in relationship to bottom dead center. And it is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 2 degrees before bottom dead center, which it says it's supposed to be 64. So we know that we've got this one time correctly.